President Trump, chief financial strategist, was charged aboard a boat off the coast of Connecticut in Westbrook. Now, allegations were that they had started a GoFundMe page to raise money for Trump's border wall. Now, they started this with the founder, name is Brian Colfage. Now, allegations are that they had assured the Trump donors who donated to the wall that none of these funds was going to go to their pockets, that they will not be taking a salary from this. But what they did allegedly is funneled the money through organizations and companies and then funneled back the money to Colfedge, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now they allegedly raised more than $25 million for that project. The president has come out and he's really saying that he don't know anything about that and uh, he and Banyan have not been in, in, in conversation. They've not, they've not been communicating for quite a while. As you all know, Banyan had left the White House on with bad blood with the president. And it is rumored that the two had not been talking. Now, when they ask the president about Banyan's arrest, he was saying that it was observed that they had, um, he didn't think it was a good idea that they had started this GoFundMe page because as you know, that was a massively federally funded project. And these individuals trying to take that upon themselves was indeed a task. And he furthermore was saying that that wall he wanted to be strong. And if they did it, it was going to be some sort of not what he wanted. No, what he's trying to do is distancing himself from them but can we ask if a big project like that federally funded and here's a group of people deciding that they're gonna go and raise money now the president is coming out and say that he told them that was not a good idea in the beginning but why didn't you tell them then and stop it you're the president you come out and you say, listen guys, I don't need this. This is going to be taken care of by the federal government. And that's number two. That 25 million that they collected, who did they put this money to? And how the president, at some point, the president would have had to, if they're going to pass money over, the president would have gotten involved. And the wall was his petty project. The wall was his baby. So how can the president not know or have con commun or not communicate with these guys about this situation? At some point, if they, if they indeed had transferred or moved any other money to the federal government or to... How, how did they do that at some point? Because the president is now saying that he doesn't know anything. He's, he's trying to distance himself. But at some point, how were the money transferred? Number one. Number two. The wall was his pet project. And if somebody is going to do anything to it, because then they would have had to be some sort of communication. And if you feel that strongly, that it is a federal project, and you don't want them meddling it, why didn't you say that in the onset? Why didn't you at some point communicate that to them and you're the president at the highest level? Why didn't you stop them from doing so? You're now distancing yourself and saying that you didn't think it's a good idea. No. Why didn't you do that in, then, in 2016, when this project was started? You looked on them and said, guys, this is a big project. There's a lot of people that have been around the president that has either gone to prison, that has gone... And everybody is asking, well, Mr. President, why is it that people around you 
are falling like dominoes or people around you seems to end up and he's saying that he don't know but this is a culture this is this is our president is not the squeaky clean guy and everybody knows that but what i'm saying is that when these situations when they come out he's trying to distance himself and at some point he must have known that these guys were doing this. He's he's saying that he does not know Colfage and he does not, and that is I certainly know that's not true. The wall is your baby project, and at some point somebody is gonna do something or raise funds and all. You'd want to you you'd want to meet them. You'd want to know about them. You'd want to talk to them at some point. These guys were helped by some media entities. Uh, they even had a raise a for the, the Build a Wall project. And there was one media station that broadcasted it. TV station helping them. And the president don't know how everything went. Well, these guys were taking money from the donors. And they were, as they say, building a wall. But they were always building their pockets too. They said in America, nothing is for free. Because why would private citizens take an interest in investing their time and their energy trying to raise money? And you think that they're gonna pass every single cent onto the federal government? No. What do you think? Do you think that president knew about the president had communicated to them or should have communicated to them about the magnitude of the project and that they should have left it alone because he's saying that he thought at the time but did he communicate that to them knowing that that's a massive project and that's not something that citizens are supposed to undertake because this is not some petty wall or some petty project that's gonna cost millions of dollars this thing was gonna be cost billions of dollars so did he communicate that to them knowing that they were raising money I think he would have been excited to see that you know and and based on the personal relationship with he and Banyan at the time he must have known and kept abreast of what is going on. We are seeing the circle among the around the president. Those that those that are considered his circle, they are not afraid to break the law because I think they've seen by now that it is easy to be pardoned. Steve Bannon came from. When he was released, he was laughing, he was joking, and he was even saying that it was some setup, he's not taking it seriously. Because he knows that he can always call on his old friend. There's no chance of, there, there's likely chance that he will never face a day in jail for this. What do you think? Leave your comments and let me know what you guys think. But all I'm saying is, in the end, if the president felt so strongly, he should have communicated that to them and as a president, you can shut down whatever they started. You shut it down there and then. We, I would like to know how, when they collected this money for this project, initially, how did they pass it over to the federal government? Or if they were trying to build, to assist in building the wall, how, where, where, where they, how, how were they planning to do it? Were they planning to do it excluding the, 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 non, the knowledge of the president? At some point, I think he must have known what these guys were up to. I, I'm not saying that he knew about the misappropriation of the funds, but at some point with that massive project, at some point, he has to take responsibility too and said, well, he knew of the project and he knew they were collecting money on behalf of uh, his baby project. But at some point he knew some stuff. Can't be just coming out now and denying that you knew nothing you don't know the guy who's behind it. 
and you pretend it as if they're strangers. They're not strangers to you. Knowing you, you probably have hailed them national heroes for doing that. But as we see, people continue to break the law and they're being hailed. And like I said, I don't think anything's gonna come from this because even if it goes through the court, they're likely to come out and not face a day in prison for this. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and let me know what you guys think.